इट्स लीना फ्रॉम द लैंड ऑफ गॉड्स एंड आई एम बैक फ्रॉम माई वेरी लॉन्ग ब्रेक यस आई डिड नॉट एक्सपेक्ट इट टू बी दिस लॉन्ग बट आई एम सो हैप्पी दैट आई टुक दैट ब्रेक एंड इवन हैप्पीयर दैट आई एम बैक आई एम बैक टू यू गाइज आई एम बैक टू द कार्ड एंड आई एम बैक टू द रीडिंग्स एंड दिस वन इज फॉर द साइन ऑफ कैंसर माई क्रैबी क्रैब क्रैब्स सन मून राइजिंग एंड वीनस फॉर द फर्स्ट वीक ऑफ ऑगस्ट फर्स्ट टिल द सेवेंथ guys please remember these are general reading times fluid and energies can be reversed two more shuffles we will be ready we're going to look into the challenge presented to us the advice and the outcome of the advice is followed we are going to clarify all the energies that pop out and wrap up the reading with an energy oracle guidance message all right woo cards wanna talk people crabbies we already have the challenge two of waters oh ripples in the water when it comes to love life misunderstandings i hear people are not talking to each other oh yeah this feels very much like a love issue we are not talking to each other there is misunderstanding yeah i see these fishes not looking at each other swimming in different direction there is a clash of opinion somehow it feels like people on both sides you and the one that you are dealing with both of you feel hurt unheard and neither of you want to take the first step to sort it this is you questioning your self in this connection as well look this is right here your symbol so similar to this but it's going in different direction yeah you're not really feeling that great at this point in time crabs let's see what's the advice page of waters we need to bring in a uh, some newness into this connection and think out of the box for the reconciliation yes page of waters is all about bringing in new childlike innocence that spirit put the ego aside think out of the box to get things done you know this feels to me like a aha moment this messenger of fire wearing a crown with candles on top this is like that you know ooh i got that idea how i can sort this yeah and you are told to keep your ego aside when it comes to heart connections people we get ego in between and that's it and you being water sign crabbies you are you know caring and loving and sensitive but we also know that when it comes to us being in our shadow side we become sometimes over reactive to things so i feel that's the phase we are in because we are hurt and we are in pain so we are not able to process our emotions but if we do think out of the box to sort whatever this emotional conundrum that you find yourself in where exactly is it going to take a spirit what would be the outcome please we have hermit eight of earth and messenger of air this messenger of air is all about accepting your truth focusing on where i went wrong and processing it hermit is also about you know taking that time for yourself and processing what happened more like a self analysis mode that you're going to get into if you look into this from a different angle from a different point of view and you are told to do that eight of fire this is releasing walking away from anything that is not serving you and moving towards people and emotions and situation that serves you your higher self yeah let us clarify crabbies
I think there is a ego clash that is coming up again and again with that two of waters in the challenge and I saw a devil right here there is this ego clash there is either both of you or one of you who's trying to control the other one or to trying to control the situation I also hear a little manipulation is there whether it is emotional blackmail or emotional trickery or emotionally manipulating the other or are you doing that to each other it's not healthy is what I'm trying to say Two of waters standing in the challenge for my crabby spirit. Yeah, there is the sense of, you know, defending yourself. You're standing with that four of pentacles in a very defensive mode. It is leaving you restless. Nine of swords, you know, sleepless nights. Why it's happening? Because you guys are not talking to each other. There is no communication that is happening with ego aside with love and understanding we are not doing that and we are told to bring in that fire and that passion back in and have some kind of have compassion for each other messenger of fire and page of waters two of swords here with the three of wands yeah you don't know how to reconcile there is a reconciliation on board i feel but there is so much of ego clash there and that defensive energy is what's keeping you in the head and that's the reason you have to think out of the box if you are going to think from that egocentric perspective no matter how much you want to get on that sailboat no matter how much you want to you know take a new direction and address this situation from a different on a different note it's not gonna happen till the time we are gonna be in that egocentric mode we need to keep ego on the shelf people if we want this whatever jumbled up connection that is really seems to be the center of this reading if you want it sorted we need to think out of the box and think not through that egocentric perspective and if we do that we will realize where we are standing our own truth there is the self-analysis mode that's the reason i feel that once that ego lens goes out the view is going to be much more clearer for you to be able to see it from a balanced perspective to be able to accept where you were going wrong as well to be focusing on how to release this these negative energies and that in some ways is going to also give you much better understanding you're going to turn wiser let's say you know once you let go of your ego queen of cups look this is having a hold on your emotions and be comfortable enough with them to be able to express them it is okay to be vulnerable with those that we love i know it's scary because people who love can hurt us the most yes but to be able to have an honest conversation with somebody you need to be able to bear your heart out and it seems like that's what is going to happen if you do that you're going to become much wiser focused on sorting this conflict from a compassionate perspective and not from that egocentric way or through that egocentric uh, point of view look we have the ten of pentacles with that knight of swords coming in this is standing in your truth dealing with this conflict with the right intention and emotion look how beautiful we have the sun with the eight of fire moving away from ego towards that ten of pentacles towards sorting this issue whatever this issue is moving look we have the chariot right here moving from this pain that you guys caused each other 
towards the sun you would be at a crossroad to choose how you are going to be in the future how you want to take it forward and this is been going on for quite a while i see king of cups there again and this is all about stop hurting each other reconcile leave those old patterns leave whatever has not been helping you leave this way of dealing with each other let the ego be and deal with your emotions positively that's what it is all about crabs this is about dealing with your emotions authentically being your authentic self break that egocentric way of doing things that lens need to be wiped clear it's very very fogged let us get you an oracle guidance message from the energy oracle deck what do we have all tied up yeah you are all in your head all tied up not knowing how to go about this how to address this that's the reason you are so defensive you are so restless you are losing your sleep over this because this connection is important to you it's not that it's not important to you but you do not know how to go about it like how to address this and you are told you gotta think out of the box loves this card shows a woman tied up with wines around her wrists body and arms receiving this card upright represents a situation in your life where things seem to be severely stuck a major drama may be going on around you stopping you from moving forward i think this one came for scorpios and they were also feeling very stuck restless not able to move so if you are dealing with a scorpio or you have scorpio in, in your chart well look into that or it may be that some technicalities are blocking your way perhaps you're waiting for a contract to be signed or an agreement to be made whatever is holding things up the restrictions may be feeling quite oppressive at this time if this isn't technically the case for you what's tying you up is your own personal stuff look at your life and see how you can be your own jailer yeah this is thinking out of the box looking at it from a wider perspective thinking straight from that compassionate point of view bring in a love in this scene the the love has not been there and if we do that we'll be able to see why and how we are becoming you know jailer of our own emotions that we are not able to express ourselves the way we should be are you tying yourself up in some emotional angst see that's what i meant or in a negative habit that you refuse to deal with if so it's time to cut the wines and make some serious changes now you need not live in your self imposed jail any longer and guys anger in itself is also a self imposed prison that you have put yourself into a self imposed torture and i feel this here right here the disagreement or difference in opinion or some kind of conflict that i see where you feel hurt and that's the reason you are standing so much in that defensive energy that needs to change that is what is holding you back from doing the right thing from releasing that anger moving towards your your son and on that note my crabbies i'm going to take your leave i thank you all for joining me this week it's a wrap namaste from the land of gods